Right, now I'm going to show you how I use the uh, BPD, the bracket positioning device, after we have uh, programmed this tooth, as you remember, to zero degrees. I programmed the 41 on here by moving the tooth to fit to the blade, not the blade to fit to the tooth. Now bring it to over to here, which is the same uh, base, same column. The BPD is the TTS, so everything aligns. And I have my gross height adjustment here, which I can slacken off and slide up and down. Very nice, very smooth. Okay. And then I have my fine height adjustment here. So I can move this up and down to read off on the dial test indicator to a hundredth of a millimeter, which is Mm, far more than we need. I think probably everybody will agree a tenth of a millimetre is sufficient, but we have it, so why not? So I have the calipers here which I can slide in and out, which hold the bracket here, sprung jaws, and I can put the bracket onto the tooth by measuring from the incisor edge, the cusp, or whatever reference point we want to take it from. So to put the bracket on the tooth very easily, I push the jaws, open the jaws, push them up, I'll make sure the bracket's open. This is one of our new Nintendo self-ligating brackets. So I just put one on here, lower incisor, or low anterior because all the anteriors are the same and then I can bring it in bring this down lock it now I can use the fine height to come down until I touch the inside of the ledge of the tooth so I've got the height reference so we've got three dimensions now we've got the the tip and the torque was programmed and now the height and then I will re-zero the dial test indicator and for example I want to bond this bracket at uh, four millimeters from the incisor ledge so I can choose my wire plane will be four millimeters I come round and line the tooth Check first the fit of the bracket to the tooth. The model's already had some separator or something on it. Then I can get my uh, acetone. And I scrub the bracket with acetone so that the base is clean, not contaminated. And then I have another micro brush and I'm going to put on my Transbond XT Primer, Universal Primer so damn we don't need a lot of this and then my composite so I can measure the thickness that I'm going to do with the composite to compensate all of the teeth in the arch or at least in part of the arch in this case the anterior so we have no first order bends I put my composite behind it and push it in until I get the reading I want Decided this one will be five, so now it's exactly five. Get another instrument to clean, make sure the bracket's central on the tooth. underneath the bracket make sure there's no excess composite 
especially not near the mechanism if it's self-legating. And then we will light cure. Pull out, holding this lever to keep the jaws closed so there's no friction and the bracket is in place. So as you can see, it's a very quick, very easy procedure to follow. And um, once you get proficient at this, you can do your individualized bonding in-house for labial or lingual. The difference is with labial, it's quicker because you don't need to compensate any thickness. You just find your plane, your height that you want, your chart and then bond measure from your reference of your cusps where you need to you can adjust the heights so if you want your canines a little bit lower so you can have your canines half a millimeter lower if you need them and uh, very easy very quick and uh, not complicated at all